So I've already seen the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer. Uh, I find it interesting that they have to call it that and not Deadpool 3, and it's probably because they probably legally can't call it 3 since Fox did the first two. Whatever. I mean, Disney owns the IP now. But uh, the trailer overall is pretty good. It looks like you got a lot of returning characters like Lamorena Bakker and the guy they just showed. I can't remember his name. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen two, but that, uh, no, not him. It is weird he's got hair. I didn't think he could grow hair. Leslie Uggams is back. That guy with the mustache is back. But, I mean, I was, it, here's the thing. I think the movie's going to be fun. I think it's going to be, but here, this, this part is immediately where I, where red flags go up for me. I, I think the Loki show is terrible. I don't know if that's a hot take, but I make no qualms about the fact that uh, Marvel Phase 4 and 5, personally, I think, have been a complete dumpster fire. The only bright spots, spots? The only bright spots in the past two phases have been Spider-Man No Way Home and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Other than that, it's been all pretty much trash. So I have the feeling the TVA would not have been in this unless Disney was involved. I think Disney probably mandated that the TVA are involved in the story. But they're using the TVA as a way to get Wade Wilson into the MCU. So I think it'll be fun as long as they play with the... Uh, I mean, he's already referencing Disney and he's breaking the fourth wall already. So if they break the fourth wall a lot and be really meta about it, this movie could be a lot of fun. The problem is, though, like I said, there's just been so much crap from the MCU that I hope... My, the only thing that gives me hope, though, is I think Ryan Reynolds has a lot of say in this movie because it's his production company... Uh, and not Disney's production company, and he filmed most of it on real sets. Uh, not a lot of, um, what? Why am I blinking on what that's called? The volume. So and we already have a cameo right here, right there. That's I don't know if anybody noticed that, but that's Pyro. If you don't have the captions on, you may not have noticed. That's he was. Uh, what was he like? Eighteen in X Men Three. It's kind of nuts to see him back. But he's really the only cameo in this trailer, I think, except for Wolverine. But we already knew he's in the movie. So, And then Colossus, we knew, was, was in it. And basically, the whole cast of the second one is back. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, I think it'll be a fun distraction. It'll be chock full of cameos. I think we're going to get some crazy stuff. Like, I think we're going to get characters from the Fox Fantastic Four. I think we'll get... Uh, ben Affleck, Daredevil, and uh, in for a second, Jennifer Garner, Elektra, I think was spotted on set. Uh, all the ones that aren't MCU, I think they're going to incorporate. Probably a lot of the cast of the, the older cast of X Men, and then the reboot series like Michael Fassbender and all them will probably be in this. And then the big thing I want to see is I really want to see Nick Cage, Ghost Rider, um, and if Disney was smart, which they're not. Let's face it, Disney the last like eight or nine or ten Disney movies have not made a profit. They've been hemorrhaging money. They're in a horrendous state right now. So this movie doing well is not going to save the MCU. I'm sorry. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a slight bump in their uh, profit for one movie, but then it's going to go right back to um, the, the slop that we already have in the pipeline. I mean, Captain America 4 is being was rewritten and is being like reshot again completely. Hold on, wait, let me go back. That looked kind of like Doctor Doom. Right? That Doesn't that look like Doctor Doom? I don't think it is, but I think that's actually Pyro wearing a mask because, yeah, that is Pyro because he's got goggles and then you see him later with the goggles off. I don't know. It's crazy. This movie, yeah, uh, they just finished filming this. Like, they, they filmed it before the strikes and then a little bit more after... You see the 20th Century Fox thing in the background. Like, they kind of waited a while. This is going to be, what, six years after Deadpool 2? And unfortunately, this could be the last one because it says, the tagline says, everyone deserves a happy ending. Like, that would be right there. Everyone, that would be so lame if they bring this back and it makes a ton of money and then, oh, that's it. No more Deadpool. But if it makes a billion, which is probably not going to happen because i feel like there hasn't there hasn't been a million a billion dollar marvel movie since what no way home and that was 2021 it's been years and so this will be like i said this will be a temporary uh 
this will be a temporary uh, win for the MCU, but we're going to go back to uh, things as they were, back to normal, which normal is, which is sucks now for the MCU. So, I mean, just think about all of Phase 4 and 5 have been pitiful. And I know you may dis... What is that that he's stepping on right there? I do like that reload. That is, why is my cat making that noise in the background? I think that's just part of the sign that he's kicking. I don't know. I do think the funniest line is when he says he is Marvel Jesus. And, I mean, he if he kind of is in the comics where he comes in and out of comics and he's extremely meta, um, references the audience all the time. Is that Wolverine sitting at the table? Yeah. I mean, that, that kind of looks like um, people were speculating that that is the... Uh, the Hellfire Club sitting there, and that could very well be. But I, like I said, I expect this to be Cameo City, which does not make for a good movie. Like, No Way Home had a lot of cameos. I mean, well, yeah, it had, like, characters that we know, but the thing is is that it, they serve the, the, the story. If it's just cameos for cameos' sake and it doesn't serve the plot, then that's lame. I, but you get to see, like, one frame of Wolverine in his costume. So, yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. I kind of expected a title like that. People thought it was just Deadpool 3, but uh, this will definitely get people to go back because it's playing on the nostalgia of X-Men. And it is kind of pathetic that Disney has to rely... They have to rely on Fox... Things that Fox built over, like, 15 years uh, to get people back. Like, this is... I, I hope it's good. I mean, but like, yeah, they own Fox, but they didn't. They were not responsible for all those X Men movies. That was different people. But that's how that's what that's how Disney do. They uh, acquire a company and 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 claim responsibility for their successes, even though they had nothing to do with it. So it'll be a fun reprieve from the usual crap from the MCU, but don't expect it to last long. So yeah, it comes out comes out July, and uh, it's the only MCU movie this year. So we'll have to wait and see. It's not. It's being directed by Sean Levy this time, which I would not have. It's an interesting choice for this movie, but we'll have to wait and see. That's all we got so far. So what did you think of the trailer? Uh, I mean, it's a teaser, but it, it's two and a half minutes. It still doesn't show much. But what did you think? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you think I'm wrong about Phase Four and Five being terrible and. Give me examples of why you think it's not, and we can actually have somewhat of a discussion in the comments. I'd love that. So let me know in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Share it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.